Okay, do me a favor. Put on your headphones. I've got the zoom on, my H2N on. Five microphones happening at the one time. You can tell because if I speak into one side of the speaker, and this is handheld, obviously. I've got a wind cap on it or whatever the fuck it's called. I'm doing laundry, but I'm, I'm just hanging out out front. And uh, I love it. I was going to say something, but now I forgot what it was. Oh, yeah, so what, here's what you do. Okay, you're listening to this. And then uh, if you're on your laptop, you just open up another window. And you play your own music or do whatever you got to do. But anyways, like I said, I'm doing laundry. I'm actually sitting at a bus stop in front of 741 Glen Ferry Road, which is Pezzamenti Optometry. I'm sure everybody thinks I look like a fucking absolute douchebag. I don't give a shit. It's about 7, 10 p.m. And um, I was going to talk to you about some shit. I, for, I forget what. Oh, I'm doing laundry. And uh, just watch, washing work clothes. But the thing that I love is that I'm washing my uh, socks and underwear. I'm like Ted Bundy like that. He was he was right into um, socks for some reason. Like I had an absolute mad fetish for, for clean, brand new socks. And... Uh, yeah, I kind of I shared that a little bit. I like to have at least 14 pair of underwear and pretty much as many socks as I can. In fact, I'm I'm quite happy for birthday and Christmas to get underwear and socks. So, very stoked with that. So, a couple of weeks ago, uh some friends of mine and uh my wife went and saw uh Head PE and Snot at the Corner Hotel in Richmond. And it was a good show, and Snot was great. Uh, I forget who the, the singer was, because they only made one album before Lynn Strait got in a car accident and passed away. Uh, but the singer did the band justice. They played their first album, and they did a really, really fantastic job, actually. The guitar player, oh, wait. And then, um, so that, that went, went down well, and they, they were great, and everybody loved them. And then Head P.E. came out, and the guitar player for Head P.E. is like this new dude, but he looks exactly like... Dimebag Daryl, and just really kind of weird to see because he couldn't play like Dimebag, but uh, looked exactly like him. Had the same exact guitar, like the Dean ML shape. Had the had the long hair, the shorts, the tank top, or you know, just a shirt that's with cut off sleeves. And um, I don't really know what he was playing through amp wise, and he he had a couple of guitar changes. But, uh, yeah, I found that really weird that a dude would try to purposely look like another dude from another band. So this is funny. So while we're watching Head B.E., there are these two, like, middle-aged women, and they're hanging out, and uh, one of the guitar players from Snot comes over, and they're, like, I guess starstruck by him or some shit. And he walks away or something. Or going to go backstage or some shit. And one of the girls turns to my wife and goes, Do you know who that is? And my wife is like, Look, I'm here to see head PE. You know, I'm here to see the fucking headlining act. So why don't you fuck off? And then the girl goes, I can introduce him to you. And my wife, Alex, is like, Why? Like, I, I don't give a fuck. So... And then they went backstage and probably sucked a bunch of dirty, sweaty cock or whatever. But just dirty rat bag whores, really. Two of them. One was a brunette, one was a blonde. They looked like sisters or cousins or some shit. And it was, um, it was jacked up. Ooh, here's a tram. God damn. That motherfucker is jamming down this street. Here's another. My goodness, what the fuck is going on with Glen Ferry Road? It's only Thursday. But yeah, I, th I found that funny. That uh, middle-aged women can be whores. And they embarrass themselves, I thought. And they're hanging out with this guy that was wearing like this, this fucking tough man vest. Like a black leather vest. Like a biker vest. But he was seriously about four foot ten. <laughs> in about 50 years of age. It just looked fucking weird. Okay, I'm back in the laundromat. I'm trying to keep it nice and quiet. Um, 
so yeah, last night uh, had a podcast with uh, Chris and Dean. I don't know if you heard it. It's called the podcast formerly known as Google it. Google it right now. And um, last night we interviewed um, Justin Fleming, who is the brother of um, the cricketer Damien Fleming. And uh, this Justin Fleming dude has led a very, very interesting life. So did some porn, (laughs) was the lead singer of a band, an, an Aussie metal band who signed a nuclear blast called Pegasus, did two albums with them. And um, I was pretty much, and now he does comedy, stand-up comedy. And I was enthralled and pretty much hanging off every word. And, I mean, that's saying a lot because I don't really get impressed by much. But this dude was just, he had stories upon stories upon stories. In fact, the podcast went for about two and a half hours. But what happened was Chris was recording we did a full one, and then he realized that the laptop didn't record it all, so we had to do it again. And we didn't really go over stuff from before. We just started a whole brand new, fresh thing. I mean, we did a little bit, but man, this dude, uh, you can, like, we need to keep revisiting him because he, I'm sure, like, the dude had fucking stories that were just pretty unbelievable. So, yeah, I think I. I have a new hero. This dude's awesome. And uh, I was thinking of maybe going to one of the, um, they got like a comedy workshop, even though I don't feel like being funny. I don't know. Like my my uh, self-esteem and spirits are pretty low. And they've, they have been for actually a, quite a few years now. So it's probably a good thing I stopped drinking. And that's, that's another thing. I stopped drinking because... Uh, I had a blood test um, for my liver, and the doctor's like, look, you got to slow down on the drinking. And I go, eh, I'm a binge drinker. I don't really do that, so what I'll do instead is I'll just quit drinking entirely. And he's like, you don't even have to go that far with it. Just do it in moderation. And I go, dude, I don't fucking do moderation. I do zero or 14 so it's been about five months, and um, I gotta say, I am digging it quite a bit, and it's for weird reasons, like, I'm ultra dependable now, and, and my wife can now drink if we go out, which is cool, she was always the one to have to drive me around, and I'd get pretty, I'd always be the drunkest person at whatever get-together it was, so I'm pr- pretty sure she's probably stoked that I'm not, but she wants me to drink with her, so I think if we do, like, hotel stuff and that kind of thing, you know, I'll get into the wines with her or whatever, but I think for the most part, I'm actually going to stay sober, because, um, I'm just noticing that, uh, even though I'm not ultra fit by any stretch of the imagination, um, I did a gig with this band called Brothel, and I played drums in a onesie, and usually, like, went back when I was drinking, I'd do this. And I'd be, you know, gas because you're wearing a onesie, you're wearing a mask, and you're playing drums. And by about song three, you know, I'm like dying for fucking water. But I'd been sober maybe two months by then. Played a whole hour-long set. Didn't sip on any water at all. So I was like, fuck, there's there's something in this sobriety thing. So I'm kind of stoked from that aspect of it, like giving my liver a really big, hearty, clean, you know, chance at life. Because, fuck, I don't want to die. I will be 47 in December. And look, you know, if you want to buy me an Ibanez Universe Loch Ness Green, we can totally set that up. If you want to buy me a a Helix, Line 6 Helix, we can totally set that up. If you want to buy me a full studio that I won't be able to use because I'm too afraid to, to try Pro Tools. We can totally set that up. That'll be good. Oh, thank you. I'll write a whole... You know what? I'll write a concept album on how you changed my life. With your name. Your full name. And all uh, Pro Tools. In stereo. You getting your dick sucked by... 
everybody, every female in the Kardashian family at the one time. And somebody fing fingering your butthole. Deal? Deal. But uh, before I close, let me just tell you a couple things. A, dicky pants and dicky shorts are the fucking business. They're the greatest things ever. Buy me some, and I'll kiss your balls. Actually, don't. I'll buy my own, because I know what size I wear. I'm fat. Number one. Number two, Gillette are fucked for taking Cool Wave uh, deodorant gel off the shelves. They fucking blew it so hard. I'm so angry with them. I'm going to find a way to fucking let them know that they're a disgrace to the world. And I think the last thing you need to know is that uh, I manscaped today. And that takes so fucking long. So I shaved my head, my arms, my chest. And uh, yeah, look, that's, that's it. That's all I got right now. Um, guitar video-wise, I'm thinking of posting um, round and round harmony solo soon because the people are asking for it, and it's so easy to do. I'd be able to knock it out in probably under five minutes, both parts. So I might do that. And I think that's it, and that's, and that's what? Friday out of the way. Saturday, I'll be hanging out with Alex, and we'll do husband-wife bullshit, which hopefully means dealing with our house. I'd take a photo of it and post it, but she'd fucking kick me in the fucking balls. So that ain't gonna happen. But we're doing that minimalist shit, and um, we need to do it again, because it looks like we've just moved in, and stuff isn't fully unpacked. It's fucked. So hopefully we can get some of that happening, and then Sunday is when I start getting sad because i got to go to work Monday. I fucking hate Sundays. I've always hated Sundays. Even as a kid, I hated Sundays. Weird, isn't it? Okay. I've said enough. Doug thugging. And you know what? I dedicated this to Tyler Blackburn because he asked, he goes, when's the next one? I'm thinking, fuck. Enjoy the photos. Rock and or roll. And I'll see you next time. Bye.